this summer I did my first photo shoot for Canva and I'm gonna tell you all about it. How did I get this opportunity? Funny enough, via LinkedIn. They had a job post where they were looking for freelance photographers in different countries in Europe. Among the countries were Spain. So I submitted an application, I sent them my portfolio and the rest is history, sort of. Similar to most freelance gigs, your first job is the most important. It kind of acts like a test job to see if the client wants to continue working with you. And keep in mind, it's not only focused on the end result, meeting the deadline, how you communicate, all the administrative stuff around plays a big part as well. So there was a first job that was kind of a failed first job. So the first gig was supposed to take place in Barcelona. Barcelona. But because of problems with shooting permits and stuff like that, it unfortunately didn't work out. And that was an expensive lesson I learned. Get the permits before you buy the ticket. Don't take any chances. But when that said, it wasn't a total waste for me because I made a new friend. Brad, or who's your Brad that you saw in my last video, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. I met him for the first time when I was supposed to do the first gig for Canva. But of course, when I didn't do that and had hours to spare, I met up with Brad instead. So yeah, it wasn't a total waste. So the shoot that I actually ended up doing took place here in Guatemala. And for this shoot, it required models who were able to act as a group of friends who were spending their day together. And lucky for me, not long before I landed this gig, I've just gotten to know a group of people that would fit perfectly for this shoot. So I asked them, hey, do you wanna be models? And they said, sure, we wanna. So we did the paperwork, we did the planning, and then we got to work. So the shoot day, this was a long day. Moving between different locations, settings, scenarios, and changing of the wardrobes of the model as well. And also keep in mind, this was midday. This was an eight hour shoot under the burning sun, late summer in Spain. And I'll admit it, like at times I was kind of stressed out because this was such an important job for me. I've never worked with such a big company like Canva and it was so crucial to meet all the expectations. Like I felt the weight of everything on my shoulder and mentally it was so draining. But that's when I realized that that wasn't the case. Like all of the weight wasn't on me, it was on us as a group. And that's when I started to notice how important it is to have great people around you. My models, they were no exception. They were so amazing. So easy to work with, so much energy, so much creativity. Their mood was just so super and it really came across in all of the photos. The joy that you see in their faces, that is the real deal, no BS. It's hard to fake this stuff. And luckily, we didn't have to, and I'm so grateful that I got to work with this bunch of lovely people. Uh, yeah, what you just said, what you just said. See, 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 see. This is one of the models from the shoot this summer. This is Anna okay. from the Canva shoot. <laughs> and Anna, what was your experience? during the shoot this summer? My experience was very good. I had a lot of fun and I had a good experience. Okay, and that's the truth, la verdad, no? Si, si, es la verdad, it's, this is the truth. Yeah? Si, si, okay. I promise. Thank you, I'll pay you afterwards, but thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is Judith, one of the models from the Canva shoot this summer, and just as a super short video, you did. What was your experience from the shoot that we did together? The experience was amazing and also because the photographer was uh, lovely and <laughs> was lovely with us and say to us be, um, be comfortable and we enjoyed it a lot the, all the day and also we want to repeat uh, whenever he wants. And this is the truth, no? Yes, the truth, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you heard it from her, I'm an amazing photographer. Yes. <laughs> this is Ruben, one of the male models. What was your experience during the shoot? Really? <laughs> was it, it was... good? Was it shitty? Was it... No, it was a very, very good experience. It was an experience with, with some friends. See, like, yeah, you're a group of friends as yeah. well, and that showed in the photos. Though, yes, actually. it was a really, a really happy uh, face, because... Mm -hmm. 
because uh, we we were uh, talking about every everything that we have thinking about it and we are joking every time you can see it in, in the, the photos it was very very natural because we decided to so uh, okay so put it there okay put it up, up for me or we are improvising it was very 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 funny to do it it was it yeah. was so, okay, thank you so much for You're welcome. Hi, I'm Moises. My experience in the photo shoot with Tony was mainly very funny and exciting because I had never done anything like this. I also felt very happy to share that moment with real friends and do things that we normally do. It was really a great day with friends, like an imaginary vacation. I am very grateful for having been able to live that experience. Anna, Judith, Ruben, Moy, thank you so much again for stepping up to the challenge. You did such a great job and I can't thank you enough for the success that I had on my first shoot with Canva. And for you photographers out there, let me share my three top tips from this experience. Number one, be prepared. Have a plan, understand the brief. Number two, or two, find the right models. Not just, don't just go for the looks, like look at what's within, like their soul, their mood, their personality. Number three, have fun. Yes, follow the plan, do what's required. But in this shoot, some of the best shots were ideas from the models that we just came up with on the spot. So, hope you guys like this video. If you did, there is a like button down below, subscribe to follow along, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao! Canva.com, or if you go, this is Norwegian, but if you go to the picture tab, and then we write France, pardon my spelling, Spain. We see a few familiar faces here. So right click, then go to show collections. Again, this is Norwegian. And here we see some familiar faces. Aww.